In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can create smudge painting but without actually using smudge tool. So let's get started. Hey what's up guys, Dhruvan here back with another video and as you can see this is the final output but to be honest uh, that's not the final but this is the final output but i decided not to include this texture part because it will be another tutorial on its own uh, so i'm gonna mostly focus on actually making this a really silky soft skin and how to make this painting look like painted look hair and this is the original file and this is the final output that we will create now before you start actually working on your file you have to make some changes uh, go to your edit option and there you have this last option uh, this is preferences and there you have camera raw as you can see the last one now in the camera raw as you can see in this jpg uh, there you have this automatically open all supported jpegs so you have to select this third option and then hit ok now once this is done go to your file option and open whatever jpg file you wanna open uh, so i'm gonna go and open this jpg uh, now here you can see that it actually opened it inside camera raw even though it was jpg so you can actually do that and it's really useful now this is already edited so let's go and make it default so as you can see this is the file now whatever file you have this is the mostly what you will end up do end up doing okay now my image is really dark so i'm gonna add a little bit of exposure not too much so that's enough now you go and make your highlight minus 100 and go and make your shadow plus 100 then you start playing around with your highlight uh, sorry whites and also increase the exposure now this things they always depend on what kind of image you have okay uh, so as you can see my this numbers might not match even my older numbers but doesn't matter you need this type of look okay you understand i hope so this is the default uh, and this is what we edited so you can go and make it slightly more brighter but i think uh, this seems uh, enough yeah so that's good now once this is done instead of directly opening the image hold on your shift key and then select as open object so now when it's open it's open but here's the good part double click on it and you can edit it anytime you want so that's one really big advantage now on to the actual trick that i wanted to show you now i seen a lot of videos on this subject and many of them were really good but one thing i noticed that everyone was using either smudge tool or directly this regular brush tool now regular brush tool painting can be really tough because even i suck at that <laughs> to be honest so what i like to use is mixer brush tool and you need at least photoshop cs6 for that that's why cs6 is in title so after selecting your mixer brush tool go and create a new blank layer uh, you can rasterize it and directly paint on it but that's not safe so create a new blank layer and in my options uh, another reason a lot of people don't use mixer brush is because they don't know how to use it and it's really underrated tool so uh, go to your moist uh, sorry options and select moist now everyone has their different effects go and try out whatever works for you so i'm gonna go with moist because that works really good now all you have to do is zoom in and make sure that this option is checked this is sample all layers okay so now uh, i'm gonna go and select a really soft round brush whenever you are going to paint on skin a really soft round brush uh, should work really good and we will start by painting on his nose because that's one of the little complicated part so notice how i paint okay don't go and start painting like this this will ruin the image you have highlight here so go paint it like this as you can see you can probably also listen to my mouse clicks so go and start painting like this then once you are done with that go and start painting here on the darker area like that and keep painting until you get rid of all the textures uh, and then go and do the same thing here
and if there is edge like this where you can't paint just hold your click and make it round 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 and it will go good so and as you can see whenever i'm changing the shape uh, i'm also changing the direction of my strokes because now the nose is on this way so i'm doing it this way okay uh, like that so now if i turn it on and off as you can see now it looks a lot more like a painting instead of regular nose uh, but here's the thing like we messed up and there is a lot of strokes going outside Do not think simply grab your eraser tool uh, Make it smaller. I use my bracket keys to make it smaller and bigger saves time and then just go and simply erase it where you don't need it That's it simple as that if I turn off my model layer as you can see this is what we painted That's why this tool is awesome now this way you have to go and select let's go and select mixer brush tool again right click and you can open it uh, so let's go and start painting it again and this way i will go and paint his entire face Now when I turn it on and off, as you can see, it looks more like painting instead of regular face because there is no texture and it's a little bit flat. Now same way you have to do lips, eyes, jacket. Don't worry about the hair and the facial hair. Don't touch them at this moment. So for the lips, now the same way to do your lips, uh, create another blank layer. Uh, select your mixer brush tool. Everything is same and make sure this option is checked. And you just go and simply start painting on the lips when on the highlights make your brush just smaller and paint on the highlights and then paint on the lower things now i'm not gonna waste time doing eyes and lips and everything just be careful and paint it gently i'm gonna use the layers from the older file so do 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 so as you can see my lips and eyes are done and let me zoom in on the eyes so as you can see uh, oops eyes uh, be careful do not mix up your iris with this white part because that will totally ruin the image uh, So the lips uh, the skin the eyes everything is done by the same method When it comes to hoodie you have to do the same step uh, create a new layer make sure your mixer brush is on But this time uh, I'm gonna use this brush number 60 why because as you can see there is some kind of texture on the hoodie It's not plain like skin and lips so this will allow you to create different type of effects and there is every kind of brush uh, and there is even more brush so uh, select your brush properly and uh, take your time and start painting exactly like this so as you can see this time instead of making it uh, let's say directly flat it can maintains that kind of texture but at the same time it also looks like the painting so when near the edges make your brush just really small and try to maintain the shape don't change the shape way too much or well it will be useless so i'm gonna do this part and this part i'm not gonna fast forward at this moment so you can see how things should be done uh, and a little bit here and here do not mix this up like this okay because that doesn't look good uh, take your time mix tiny tiny moves one thing at a time uh, like that uh, and the same way you paint everywhere there's nothing new to it it's the same method just different brush and little bit more care so i'm gonna use the same file like i did the last time so as you can see i have painted the entire hoodie here and i just did it again and again to get even more softer look but if you don't like look this soft uh, don't do it a lot of time so nothing new to it uh, hoodie lips eyes everything is done now let's focus on the highlights now you say what kind of highlights uh, because we painted with mixer brush the skin looks a little bit flat and not glossy that you find normally in what you call oil paintings so to do that create a new blank layer here now you have to go to select and then go to color range 
Now in the color range find one of the brightest spot and that would be normally nose like most of the time. So select this white part here and then increase your fuzziness until you start to see basic shape of the face here as you can see like that. And once you think it's good enough don't go overboard like this just a little bit okay uh, and then hit ok. Now this is done select your paint bucket uh, and make sure you have white color and fill it. Go to select and go to deselect. So as you can see you have that white color the highlights. Now it's really rough. So you go to filter, uh, go to blur and go to Gaussian blur. So it will start to fade a little bit but you have to fade it too much. So that it doesn't look like a distraction and more like part of the face. So now it looks much much better uh, after the blurring hit ok. Now as you can see the effect is way too strong so I'm gonna just go and make the opacity somewhere around like 50-60% whatever your taste. Uh, so now as you can see now it looks much better. Now I will do it one more time. So use only if you are getting good with it okay otherwise completely avoid this step even I can mess it up. So this one alone also looks good uh, if you wanna keep it. Uh, so as you can see let's go and keep this on and let's keep it to somewhere around 60. Now this has started looking much much better. This is without highlights this is with the highlights. Now comes the final step where we will like uh, change the hair and the beard. Now you can do the beard and hair exactly like using the brush tool, select a textured brush and paint it but I found even easier method. So to do that you go and create a new blank layer like this uh, and then you press Ctrl, Alter, Shift and E. So as you can see here it created a jpg of the same file inside the document. Now once this is ready you go to your filter and then you go to oil paint. Now if you don't have oil paint filter you can download it from Adobe's website. I will link it in the description so you don't have to worry about it. So to do that our first thing uh, let's go and make the stylize 100, 100 uh, sorry 10. Uh, in the scaling uh, I would try to keep it at minimum. And the basic details uh, doesn't matter that much and angular direction uh, mostly it's about shining so I would like to keep it minimum so you don't have that really heavy texture you get it uh, and in the details uh, yeah that seems fine so most of the time it is gonna be 10 10 0 10 most of the time not every time uh, and this doesn't matter since we don't have any kind of shine. So let's go and simply hit OK. So now if I turn it on and off, as you can see now beard, hair and everything looks really painting-ish. You can keep it on entire image if you like the look but I seriously don't like it on the eyes and it doesn't look that good. So what I will do is apply a layer mask and then I will grab my regular brush tool right click and select the regular brush one uh, and there select this black color in your brush and since you have this layer mask remove it from the parts where you don't like it. So as you can see now uh, the eyes look a little bit more sharper that gives more edge uh, and you can also remove it uh, some parts from the hoodie uh, and you can also remove it entirely from the background uh, like that. But on the rest of the part, if you turn it on and off, it looks really, really good. So now comes the final adjustment since all the painting is done. So create a new adjustment layer and select vibrance. Now add touch of vibrance so that we can get like a little bit more punchier skin tone. And then go and create another adjustment layer and I will select curves. In the curves, just go and simply make entire image brighter. Uh, and then drag it to the highlight parts as you can see this is brighter so drag it up like this you can use levels if you are familiar with that doesn't matter so now if I turn it on and off as you can see now it looks much much better now let's compare it to the our original file as you can see 
so this is what we started with and this is the final so i really hope that you guys found this video helpful i tried to make it as simple as possible and if you have any kind of questions or suggestions feel free to ask me in the comment section below you can also click on any of these boxes to check out more of my videos and you can subscribe to my channel so every time i upload a new video you will get the update Plus, when you click on that subscribe button, it will take you to my YouTube channel where I have more than 90 free Photoshop tutorials just waiting for you. So till then, goodbye, take care and have some fun with Photoshop.